بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر محمد لطیف اینڈ آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر آف دا سبجیکٹ پرنسپل آف اینیمل لائف ٹو ٹوڈے از لیکچر نمبر ففٹین ان وچ وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ایپلیکیشنس آف ڈی این اے ٹیکنالوجی ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو لرنڈ ان ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ ریکمبیننٹ ڈی این اے ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ ان دس لیکچر ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ واٹ آر دا ایپلیکیشنس آف ڈی این اے technology this technology has multidisciplinary applications and potential to deal with important aspects of life it can improve our health enhancing food resources and resistance to divergent adverse environmental effects and in agriculture it create uh, it create wonders and the genetically modified plants have augmented resistance to harmful agents enhanced product yield which is very helpful by increasing population of the world because if we do not have enough crops we cannot sustain our increasing population and the other uh, use of this technology is for the purpose of bio remediation and treating serious diseases what is bio remediation we talk about in detail about the bio remediation and about treating serious diseases which cannot be treated by ordinary means we can treat with this technology and the other uh, use of this recombinant in technology is playing a wider role in improving health conditions by developing new vaccines and pharmaceuticals product so the number of new vaccines are developed and these vaccines provide immunity against different viral diseases so we'll talk about in detail about the applications of recombinant dna technology and first we'll talk about transgenic bacteria what is that transgenic bacteria are the bacteria with foreign dna are called transgenic bacteria recombinant dna technology is used to produce transgenic bacteria and these bacteria have different uses in our society first of the use of this transgenic bacteria is the synthesis of pharmaceutical products because a foreign gene is replicated and expressed in these bacteria thus a large amount of protein product is obtained many biotechnological products are produced by bacteria these bacteria are now available in market some of these products are insulin human growth hormone tissue plasminogen activator hemophilia factor 8 hepatitis b vaccines previously on the insulin are obtained by killing animals and obtained from the pancreas of pigs goats cattle but with this technology we can easily make insulin from bacteria and the other use of these transgenic bacteria is promoting health in plants transgenic bacteria are used to promote health of plants for example a bacterium normally forms colonies in the roots of the corn plants 
some genes from another bacterium have been inserted into this bacteria these gene code for an insect toxin and the toxin protects the roots from insects from insects so there is uh, not use of chemical pesticides to kill the pest so the plants itself produce toxins and these toxins can protect the roots from inter, uh, roots of plants from insects and the other is biodegradation I have talked little about biodegradation uh, you all must uh, know that bacteria is a decomposer they decompose the organic matter into simple inorganic material into uh, simple inorganic matter and bacteria degrade a particle substance and the ability of degradation of bacteria can be enhanced by genetic engineering so we can degrade more material from these bacteria and the recombinant bacteria or the transgenic bacteria can be used as biofilters what are what is biofilter are biofilter uh, you must familiar about them uh, pollution and there are certain type of uh, pollutants which can be released in the environment by different industries bacteria have the ability to detoxify the pollutants which are emitted from the uh, from the industries so by transforming these abilities through genetic engineering these bacteria can be helpful to filter our environment from these pollutants and the other uh, application of recombinant dna technology is by synthesis of organic compounds the catalyst act uh, on precursor molecule during synthesis of organic chemicals bacteria can be used in pre, in place of these catalyst and these bacteria carry out the synthesis of these compounds for example aspartame aspartame is dipeptide sweetener it is known as neutra sweet it is prepared by transgenic bacteria basically it is the natural ability of the bacteria to produce phenyl alanine but this ability can be enhanced by uh, by providing bacteria with additional gene so we can make a sweetener which have zero calories and now it is it is very useful because diabetic patient cannot tolerate normal sugar so they can use sweetener like nutra sweet to make their diet more sweet and other uh, use of these transgenic bacteria are in mining industry you know the major mining companies are using bacteria to obtain various metals genetic engineering enhances the ability of bacteria to extract copper uranium and coal from low grade sources bacteria have natural ability to make bond with these certain metals and this ability ability can be enhanced by genetic engineering 
and we can obtain certain valuable metals from this uh, technology and the uh, application of recombinant DNA technology is used in transgenic plants the plants with foreign DNA are called transgenic plants and the following uses of transgenic plants this is can be used for pest and herbs resistance I have little talk about uh, um, about uh, plant uh, resistance in cert for certain insects but in that case bacteria are present in root nodules of certain plants but plants themselves can make resistance for some herbs or pests foreign genes are transferred to cotton corn and potato and the cell of these transgenic plants produce an insect toxin so these plants become resistance to pest and the other use of this technology in transgenic crops in 1999 these transgenic crops were planted on more than 70 million acres worldwide their acre age total acre is expected to become triple in about five years means the total production uh, of that uh, crops were higher three times by ordinary means and the other use uh, of these transgenic plants are increasing production of wheat corn and rice and you are know that wheat corn and rice are the basic food of ours of ours and we cannot sustain our life if we have shortage of these plants and agribusiness companies are also developing transgenic varieties of wheat rice and corn to enhance the production of these crops there is another use of this technology by synthesis of human products plants are engineered engineered to produce human hormones clotting factors and antibody antibodies in their seeds for example an antibody made by corn can deliver radioisotope to tumor cells so tumor cells can be treated with this antibody and the other uh, application of these technologies by transgenic animals as plants are very useful for us animals are also a food for us so we can make higher growth rate by these technology the genes for bovine cattle growth hormone are injected by this technique into many types of animal eggs Thus, many larger fishes, cows, pigs, rabbits, and sheep are produced by this procedure. And other is the gene farming. The use of transgenic farm animals to produce pharmaceuticals is called gene farming. Many antibiotic hormones are produced by this technology. So, a gene of different genes can be inserted in human in in animals and from animals from their urine or from their uh, blood our desired gene can be obtained and this is a very useful method of producing gene of interest and the other most important application of recombinant DNA technology is the gene therapy. Gene therapy, the insertion of genetic material into human cells 
for the treatment of a disorder is called gene therapy gene therapy is used to prevent treat or cure disease by replacing a defective gene with a normal one using recombinant dna technology there are two methods used for gene therapy one is ex vivo gene therapy and one is an in vivo gene therapy in ex vivo gene therapy the gene therapy in which genes are inserted into the cell outside the body is called ex vivo gene therapy the following diseases are treated by ex vivo gene therapy hypercholesteremia or the other diseases can be treated in in vivo gene therapy the gene therapy in which genes are inserted in cells within the body is called in vivo gene therapy that is uh, the diseases treated by these technologies are cystic fibrosis cancer coronary artery angioplasty hemophilia diabetes parkinson disease and aids and other most important application of the dna recombinant technology is the dna fingerprinting you know the dna is fixed in in every individual so the genetic fingerprinting or the recombinant dna technology has also been used in forensic science to identify a criminal suspect using dna samples obtained from various biological resources at the crime scene and this test is called genetic finger printing and most of the uh, use of this dna fingerprinting can be used to found the parentage the dna is inherited thus the fingerprint of offspring resembles the fingerprints of one parents so it can be used to establish parentage so this is all about the application of recombinant dna technology